everyone, and welcome to your reading. I have a brief announcement to make regarding my name change here on YouTube. I am updating my YouTube name to Gina Moon, and I will also be welcoming all of you over to my new website, GinaMoon.com, where you can find all of the extended readings, soon to come new content, shopping, and more. Thank you all so much for your support and for watching, and let's jump right into your reading. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of April the 8th up until April the 15th. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Saggies. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Sagittarius. Thank you so much, my guides, my angels for providing any guidance and messages that my Saggies are here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Sagittarius this week? Always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember, this can be for your sun, your moon, rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And also, I'm now offering extended reading, so please do check the description box below for that where we dive deeper into the situation. And I'm so happy to see that all of you guys are, you know, delivering positive feedback on these extended readings. I'm so happy to be able to provide these extended readings for you. And I'm happier that you guys are loving them. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow. The six of pentacles. This is absolutely beautiful. So finally, right now you will start to experience an equal gift give and take. If you have been feeling like you had been giving too much to a situation, to a job, to a connection, it's going to start balancing, balancing out for you. Okay. So I do sense that there's a sense of a newbie, like somebody here is like, or was a newbie in the situation, but you're kind of getting the hang of it. Yeah. So I'm also picking up on the energy where there is some kind of unfinished business between you and this thing, this person, this place, whatever it is. I do sense that you were dealing or are dealing with a situation or a person that was a little bit selfish and a little bit manipulative. Okay. However, let me tell you that this person has codependency like a codependent energy attachment towards you towards a situation this type of codependent energy is putting this other person in the position where they feel like there is still unresolved um, things between you and them okay and what I do love seeing here you know as the outcome energy is this beautiful four of wands I mean really a celebration a union some kind of celebratory type of energy after you had been trying for so long after you've been you know kind of like you know in investing for so long. So there is a lot of celebration here after some kind of a break, break up or some kind of pain that you, you were, um, you were experiencing. Now I want to go and jump into this six of pentacles. What is the six of pentacles for Sagittarius this week? What is the six of pentacles? Some of you guys might be dealing with, let's see, icy Pisces. Um, yeah, so I do see here a blockage in, in emotions, okay? Someone here that maybe was emotionally unavailable, it could be you. It could be that you have been emotionally unavailable, is showing up in the reading, okay, as kind of like being ready now to give being ready now to it's sort of like this person was stuck in the energy of it was very hard for them to be giving of of themselves it could be giving of love giving of money giving of time whatever the case may be but right now I do sense that this person has gone through this kind of deep reawakening or awakening and maybe if, if it's their first their first time awakening to this energy of kind of like giving and receiving that balancing act okay but if this is you Sagittarius let me tell you that you are coming into some kind of of knowledge, some kind of clarity. It could possibly be that you did not know the part that you were playing in the situation. It's as simple as you kind of anticipating uh, attention from a person or maybe just appreciation from a person in an environment, a place, a thing, a job, a boss, whatever, you know. And, um, and it's sort of like you were not sure why it was that this thing was not giving back to you the way that you were giving passionately to them, okay? And I do sense that this is going to be a very um, a very important week for you where you're going to start to realize the part that you had been playing. You know, it's sort of like you don't see all of the effort that you've been putting into a situation until 
the situation stops giving you um, sort of like the same attention or the same reciprocity, right? So I do sense that you kind of are realizing, oh, wait a minute, I think I was giving too much of myself. I was trying to help. I was trying to be helpful. I feel like somebody here, whether this is your energy or the other person, somebody here was trying to be helpful uh, towards a situation by giving, okay, by trying to help. But instead of helping, I do sense that this week you're starting to realize, wait a minute, I'm not helping this person or the situation move along because I'm giving too much of myself, okay? So that's why you're starting to see de a deeper meaning. It's sort of like you're starting to see through the pain. You're starting to see through the, the deed that was caused in this connection. You're starting to see what part you played in it. I'm not saying you were at fault. I'm saying you know, the, the part of you that gave way too much to the connection, you're starting to see how when you give too much to a situation and then you take away your attention from it, you start seeing this person for who they truly are, you know, because this person starts either acting a, a different way to get that at attention back. So now it's like you're, something is going to be revealed. Basically something is going to be revealed this week. Now let's go ahead and see what this four of wands is for Sagittarius. What is this four of wands for Sagittarius? Yeah. So like I said, I mean, this is a double meaning, okay? I do sense that there is unfinished business for this person, and I mean, I must say it also for you, okay? There is this kind of unfinished business where perhaps both of you guys said, okay, to hell with it, I'm moving on my merry way, and sure, maybe both of you guys did, and maybe both of you guys are, but... I will tell you this, Sagittarius, I do see that you are still a little bit stuck in between two worlds, in between the world of the past. It could be as simple as you making um, peace with it, okay? It's as simple as that. You don't have to return to the past, no. It's as simple as you making peace with it as far as like you having a deeper understanding like we just saw that you're going to realize this week as to what the situation meant. It's sort of like you're going to start seeing through the past. Pain. So if you've been going on your merry way, maybe you've already met somebody new, but you still kind of feel a little bit of anxiety or pain when you when you think about the past or the situation in the past. This is just telling you, Sagittarius, that this week you will be presented with an opportunity to switch your mindset, okay? To switch your mind frame, okay? So this is actually very, very good energy here. Now, all right, so now let's go ahead and see what this Ten of Pentacles is for Sagittarius. What is this Ten of Pentacles for Sagittarius? Okay, so I do sense here that someone is not yet ready to make some kind of a sacrifice for a connection having to do with love. This could possibly be even like a partnership as far as like a project is, in, is, is involved. Maybe if you guys are involved in some kind of a career venture, but I do sense that this is all because this person is blocking off their heart, okay? It's sort of like this person would rather not experience the internal conflict of facing this situation truthfully and head on, okay? Now, this is the reason why this situation is not yet fully closed. It's sort of like the cycle has not yet fully closed, either for you or for them. Now, we're gonna go deeper into the extended reading to see why this Three of Swords is here. I really wanna know what this person's subconsciousness is because they do are, um, excuse me, they do want to give you attention. It's sort of like they do appreciate you, but I wanna know why this person is not yet showing it because I do sense that they do do want to come in with some kind of attention, but I do sense that there is still this energy of heartbreak. Okay. So we're going to go deeper into this person's of consciousness, what they truly feel for you, you know, what this situation means for you and for them, what's coming your way, any blockages between you and this person or the situation. And I also want to know exactly what, um, what this person's intentions are or situation and what this means for you. But before we do that, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you you this week daydream okay so i do sense that this person is definitely daydreaming about you like i said they do want to come in it's sort of like they're watching you from afar okay they're like watching you from afar maybe watching your social media stories maybe just kind of like liking your pictures but they're getting ready to say something to communicate something they are daydreaming about you so here we have you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Whatever that means for you, Sagittarius, take it as it resonates. 
One more guidance and angel message for Sagittarius. One more guidance and angel message. What do we have here? Career transition. So if this has to do with your career, with maybe a project, a passion project, a venture that you are currently involved in, this is confirmation, career transition, Archangel Camuel. Sagittarius, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Absolutely beautiful. This is what I have for you, my beautiful Sagittarius. If you are interested in the extended reading where we dive deeper into the situation and check out this person's subconsciousness their, their deeper feelings for you and any information that wants to come through for you check out the extended link in the description box below and follow my new instagram page at gina moon official as i will be posting more on there